thanks for coming again. Another Wooly Wednesday quarantine cast. We're not as quarantine as we used to be, but I'm kind of sticking close to home. So I hope you are being safe as well and just getting some stitching done. Why not? What a great time. Well, to do stitching. <laughs> So uh, I've been uh, super busy this past week and I'm not getting as far on our new uh, forest flora project as I wanted to. Hi mom, uh, did Neil stop by with your elastic? <laughs> I hope so. My husband delivered groceries to my mom today and forgot one item and brought it back home. Anyway, thanks for coming mom. Uh, now I lost my, my train of thought. Okay, so I'm not getting as far on my new project as I wanted to by now. So I'm not really going to do any demoing today. I am going to do a demo, a close-up one, and upload it so that you, you can reference that if you're stitching with the cotton braid. I want to show you how, how, I'm, how far I've gotten, though. So I got the, the braid couching done on my leaves and on my big circles mostly and um, I was having a hard time deciding what to do with the little circles but I decided that I'm just going to do some French knots as you can see here and um, I think I'm going to add some beads so I think that'll be fun. Um, I did a little chain stitch in the center of this big circle you can see the light's kind of weird. <clears throat> but I, I think it's coming along nicely. It's going to be fun. So a new application with the braid. Looks like nobody else is coming, Mom. It's just you and me. They're all outside playing in the sunshine. But a new application with the braid is, for those of you that are, I know you're going to watch later, I left it flat. I'm using it as the stem of this flower and you can see that I'm just kind of doing a cross hatch stitching to stitch it down and um, I did a little loop in it for the leaf so I'm not quite done with that but um, I'm gonna save that for in the demo in the video okay enough of that just wanted to show you my progress or <laughs> the lack of progress but I've been so busy because it's uh, normally quilt market time and I just thought I would give you guys a little inside view of um, what I've been doing. So every, every spring, we do it spring and fall, we have a wholesale trade show called Quilt Market where the quilt shop owners all come and they do their shopping. So I usually go and set up my display booth to show the quilt shop owners my new things, but uh, we didn't have it this spring. Um, and instead of doing an in-person quilt market, they are going to have a virtual quilt market. So I had to come up with a video, which was totally different than doing this live, um, a video presentation to the quilt shop owners that I could upload and that they'll be able to watch. So I had to I kind of set up a, a fake booth um, with the new things and so that they can watch that in a video and, and see what's going on. So I just decided to leave it up because I just got that done yesterday. And uh, thanks to Donna, a friend of mine who suggested that, that I show you what I was showing all the shop owners. So that's kind of fun to get to see that. So I'm going to show you that, but I want to show you um, some new things that, that I usually would have saved for the shop owners first. Um, but this time you guys get to see it first. So that's kind of fun. Um, so first of all, I want to show my coupon codes so I don't forget them. And we still have going on our May 20, which gets you 20% discount on all the Kind of Fishy items. So Kind of Fishy is my pattern that has four different 
fish. They're Minnesota fish that are right out there in the lake, but uh, they also live lots of places. So I'm going to show you that quilt. So this is our my kind of fishy quilt. You can see the four different four different fish there coming up close. You can see this bluegill and a crappie and a smallmouth bass. <laughs> and then here's a down here at the bottom is a pumpkin seed. He's so cute. Um, okay, so that's the quilt. You get the four fish patterns, which you could make into whatever you wanted. Um, you can also get the kit pattern kit, the completer kit, I call it, which is all the batik fabrics to make it. 20% off with May 20. Um, or separately, using the same pattern. This just uses, hi Suzanne, thanks for joining us. This is the kind of fishy pillow kit. So this one, um, you, get the, you get the whole pattern again with all four of the fish, but you get the wool to make uh, this crappie and you get the aqua background. This is a batik and the brown for the little inner border. And then you get this uh, cotton fish print to finish the pillow. So that kit's available. I think I have 10 left and then, uh, or something like that. And then this is all gone. And it was a, a Minnesota shop hop fabric and I can't get any more of it. So hopefully there'll be another fish print we can do again. But if you get, grab it this month, you can get 20% off with that, uh, that code. So if you missed it, May 20 is the discount code for all the kind of fishy patterns and kits. Okay, the other discount code we're still running is text 25. So I'm slowly getting all those things on there and um, I'm probably gonna extend this through June because I haven't gotten all those fabrics on the website, but all of our fat eighths of the textured over dyed wools, plaids and the herring bones and all those that I have in a fat eight size. So 25% off on those. And today's special new discount code, we are celebrating National Go Pick Strawberries Day. So I don't know uh, if you live in California or somewhere <laughs> warmer, you can probably go pick strawberries today. But in Minnesota, there are no strawberries yet to pick. So, um, we're not picking strawberries, but we're still going to celebrate it because it's National Pick Strawberries Day. And uh, so today, if you use this code, you can get 25% off the whole website, anything today, um, by using Pick Day 25. Okay. And our drawing today, last week it was a kit to make the fruit pin cushions. Um, I thought I had that to show, but I don't. Well, oh well. But today, the drawing winner is going to get a kit to make this strawberry, I don't know, it's it's a big coaster. Um, see if it's as big as my hand. A coaster or a, just a pretty circle or a, a hot pad, whatever you'd like to use it for. So we have the kit for the strawberry daiquiri coaster. This also comes with the recipe to make a strawberry daiquiri. So after you pick your strawberries, you might as well have a daiquiri. So the, the strawberry daiquiri mat and the kit to make the strawberry pin cushions. Aren't those cute? And both of these kits you can see come with the thread also. So you get the pattern, the wool, and the thread. So if you comment or share our video today or make a purchase on the website today, all those things get you included in our drawing. Hey, hi, Christina. How are you today? 
<laughs> Thanks for coming. All right, you want to see my new stuff? I have some new bundles, three new bundles that I just kind of decided last week that I needed. Um, I'd been wanting to do a texture bundle with my fuchsia. So I finally got that done. So this is the texture stack bundle where you get six pieces of pattern wools all over dyed the same color. They are that seven by seven and a half inch approximate size. So they're all the same color, but they're different patterns. Plaids, houndstooth, herringbone, is a different plaid. What is that? This is, it's like a pin dot stripe. It's pretty cool. So this one is our hot stuff stack. Isn't that fun? And there was a Prince song on the radio and um, I kind of got inspired to do a, a purple one. I have a couple other purple ones, but they're not quite this intense. So this one is purple passion. It, it's a pinky purple, but compared to the fuchsia, you can see it's pretty purple. So this is purple passion. And again, you've got your six different patterned wools all dyed. I dyed in my azalea color, actually. The last one is, uh, I'm calling this green gecko. So this is our uh, bright citrus green. And you get the six different patterns. Thanks, Suzanne. I like the pink too. They're a lot of fun. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with them, but it's kind of fun just to make fun colors. So this is a green gecko and purple passion and hot stuff. So those, um, I put them on the website. You can get them today and get 25% off with that code that, uh, pick day 25 today. Sweet deal. Okay. So that's my new stuff I wanted to show you today. Um, and now I'm just, I don't think we're going to be as long today cause I'm not really doing a demo. Um, but I'm going to give you a quick little tour of, of um, what I was showing the shop owners. So excuse my fumbling here and get the camera down and um, we're going to turn it around. Oh, there you can see out my window. Okay. Hope that didn't make anybody sick. <laughs> All right. So I set up this little display. I, I have kind of cramped quarters here in my dye lab slash studio. Um, but I moved the furniture around and set up this little display so I could show um, the quilt shop owners, you know, what my new stuff are. So here, um, if you saw our video a couple weeks ago where we introduced the new um, Cool Days Dozen Bundle, there's that, and our Warm Days Dozen Bundle, and the Pastel Dirty Dozen Bundle, where you get 12 pieces. Hi Karen, thanks for joining us today. And our Hexiness Pin Cushion that we did on a Facebook Live last month, maybe. Um, and our new needle book patterns. There's four of those. And some of our new six pack bundles, the Easter Parade bundle. Those are all the colors that come with it. Uh, this is one of my new thread colors, pineapple. And this is the sorbet thread color and the sandy beach six pack. We went to Fort Myers and Sanibel Island in Florida and I was so inspired. So I've been wanting to do some designing with some Florida themed things. Here's my whole collection of the size 15. Hi Kim, thanks for coming. Kim was our winner of the fruit uh, pin cushion kit from last week's drawing. So if you didn't yet uh, message me your 
address, do that so I can send it to you. But here's my thread. This, are, this is my size 15 a collection that I do I use for wool applique. And these are our new colors, the six new colors. Okay, I try not to go too fast and move over here. So here's our whole collection of the texture bundles. Where those are all those patterned pattern wools in a bundle. And um, our new bundles. And if the shop owner didn't see things at fall market, because they don't all come to both markets, they didn't see the citrine pack. So that's that fluorescent yellow one. That's, that's really cool. We sold out of that at quilt market last fall oh, so fast. These are the 18 new colors that we added to the line this winter. And here are all of our six pack bundles. So the six pack bundles, if you're not familiar, have uh, six different colors in each bundle. And here are the new colors. So this is our Easter Parade six pack bundle and birch bark. This is chili, pep chili pepper and sandy beach. Okay, there's my uh, woolly birds pattern. So those aren't new, but they're just sitting up there to fill some space. Uh, when you have a Christmas project you need some wool for, we have these Christmassy themed patterned wools, houndstooths and herringbones, and then you can get the Christmas colors in the texture bundle also. <clears throat> Down here are the 14 colors that we are dyeing the size 8 thread in. That thicker thread that I showed you, I don't know, last week or a couple weeks ago. So those are 14 new colors in that. And here is the birch bark six pack. And all the colors you get in there from black, black to the whitest white and those grays in between. The morning mist, sorry the light's kind of bad there, the morning mist thread. And this is the chili pepper six pack. Those colors that come in there. Oh, and our thread kind of fell down. I'll set him back up. You can see the chili pepper thread. Okay. I'll flip you back around. You can have then you have to look at me again. It tells me I can't flip my phone while we're doing live. That's all right. Okay, so now you have to look at me again. But thanks for coming again and um, comment, share. Uh, purchase whatever so you can get in on the drawing um, lots of people watch later don't watch it live and if they don't comment then they don't get in on the drawing and it's kind of fun to win something new so uh, thanks for joining me again and um, we'll see you next week and I'm gonna try to get those demos done so you can uh, see close up on what I'm doing with that couching braid and I ordered more colors so they shipped they should be here anytime so um, I'll let you all know when they arrive and there's some new colors I haven't had before so thanks for com coming again and have a great day happy stitching bye bye